and welcome back. This is Get Famous episode 17. So today, Hera was up bright and early practicing her lines. I believe we had our little karaoke night yesterday night, I think. Look, I don't remember. It's been over a week since I recorded this and I am... Oh, I'm tired. It's been a really long week at work, guys. Like, you don't understand. Like... <laughs> Like, it was my first day back, and I'm like, oh god, it must be lunchtime. It wasn't even nine. I'd been there less than half an hour, and I knew it then. I said, guys, it's gonna be a long week, and it has been. It's been so intense. There's been drama and stuff. I was actually, um, it makes a lot of sense to me. Um, I do, like, I believe in astrology. I, it's, in, I know a lot of people, are like, Okay, just don't click off, click off. Hear me out. So, the astrology you find in, like, your magazines, your newspaper that say, like, today you're a cancer, you'll be lucky in love or something. I don't think that's proper astrology. Maybe it is. But <laughs> if you look at, like, the actual planets and stuff, like, because when you think about it, the moon can influence the ocean, right? Right? Are you with me? So... Surely planets have an impact on people. And so there's this one astrologer I follow, uh, Jessica Lagnardo. Uh I might link her in the description. I don't know. I retweet some of her stuff sometimes. So you can just follow me on Twitter or just scroll back a little bit. But, but um, <laughs> so pretty much like she was saying that because – Mercury, which it kind of rules like your th thoughts and like ideas, opinions, like communication, that sort of stuff. And like the sun, which rules your identity, is really close this week. People have like a tendency to like take things personally. Although I'm recording this on the 31st of January. So like, you know, when you're seeing this, <laughs> probably not too relevant to you because she, I don't remember how long it's going to be like this, but she was saying, and we've had a lot of stuff like that at work this week. Like we've had a lot of coworkers be like really quite offended about what's happened and stuff. And like, they've taken things way personally, like way personally. It's ridiculous. Um, so, <laughs> you know, I think it's just every time, like, I read it, because I'll, like, I'll be a little bit late checking on the, like, what's going on in the astrology, like, that she's posted for that week, and I'm like, oh my goodness, everything this week makes sense after what she said. Like, I don't know. So she's, I find she's always really accurate, and it's just like, <clears throat> I don't know. I just feel like it's, I don't know. It's amazing to me. Do we? No, 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 no. There's no day off school today. I'm sorry, but no. Not today. Darling, you're going to school. Thank you. <laughs> like, seriously. You're going to school, you're going to work, that's it. Hugo also has a acting gig today, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, what's Leaf going to be up to today? I don't know. Like I said, I feel like they're probably not going to be, you know, doing too much on holidays. We did a lot about that in, like, um... <clears throat> In, in seasons, like that's the whole season's let's play. So, you know, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So I just think, yeah, it's just really accurate and stuff. And if you look at your whole birth chart, there's like sites and stuff you can do it. Like it's really easy. You know, you've got different signs and different planets and like, you know, you've also got houses for all that sort of stuff. And it's like, you know, it's actually quite detailed and everyone I've went through with it and like done their proper birth charts, they're like, this is scarily accurate. Like they're always quite surprised. And so, you know, I feel like you should just believe me when I tell you astrology is real. <laughs> no, you're allowed your opinions and that's okay. Like you can disagree with me on that. Like, I think that's fine. Like, Everyone's got different opinions, obviously, and, you know, that's just how it's going to be. Uh, so how does she... We'll just take a thoughtful shower and get her nice and inspired. Uh, you've done your lines for your little thing. I think it's also going to be a fairly shorter episode today. I'm not sure we might do some stuff, but I'm just so tired. I don't know. I'm really tired and, like, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just tired. I, I've been feeling quite drained lately, 
which is not great, but that's okay. Like, it happens. Like, it happens, you know. Everyone has a bit of, a like, a tired moment, you know, all that jazz. And it just, it happens to everyone. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But, like, yeah, okay, you're crazy, but that's fine. I'm used to that. <laughs> I can take that. I'll take you on board for that one. I'll go with the crazy thing. But, you know what? That's fine. It'd be boring if we were all the same. High chill groove. Yeah. Let's be chilly. Although, from what I've heard, it's fairly chilly over in the States at the moment. I'm in Australia. It's a heat wave here. So, um, I was looking on the news. I think it was, like, they were saying, what was it? It was, like, a an arctic chill or something and all the cold air is coming down making it really cold but it's pushing all the warmth down to the southern bit i think is what it was saying so that's why we're having a heat wave it was like 51 in this other place um celsius which is like 116 17 fahrenheit so that's like kind of ridiculous but that's okay <clears throat> yeah that sounds good beautiful so now i can release track beautiful Put a plum bob in it. I love it. That's funny. Also, can we... Ugh, she's not like... Yeah. I don't have any of these things. Why am I not flirty or any of these moments? That's fine, I guess. Whatever. No, we, we don't have time to go out for breakfast, Dad. Oh, we could probably get her flirty if we, like, did romancy stuff. And she kind of wants to be a romantic... <gasps> Ooh, he's thinking about a baby. Ooh, that's interesting. Maybe they should try for a baby. <clears throat> I've been meaning to do that. But I feel like, I don't know, It's it feels kind of like, not rushed per se, but like, I don't know, I feel like... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Like, I feel like they'd probably want to like... Not be engaged even, but like, I don't know. I feel like they'd probably want to like, I don't know, try to promote. <clears throat> I don't know. I think they'd want Hero to be a, a young adult. Because I feel like while uh, Hugo is technically not responsible for looking after Hero, he kind of is. Like, you know, she's living with him. Like, he's his teenage sister. Like, I feel like he's like, no, we got to make sure Hero's through school. And, like, you know, we don't want to, like, be doing that and all that sort of stuff. And I don't know. I feel like he'd want to do that. <clears throat> okay, we can go to the park quickly. I think that's fine. Like, <clears throat> That'll be a quick thing. That That's nice and easy. We can do the park. We can hang out. Maybe he's going to talk to his dad about it because he was thinking about kids. So maybe he should be like, oh, dad, well, you had me kind of young. Like, what do you think? Of this is not the park. I was invited to a park. Father, this is not the park. This is a karaoke bar. Oh, well, it's fine. It's okay. We'll just talk about it, I guess. I don't know. We don't need to go to the park, I guess. That's such a Hugo thing to do, though. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So, as you guys know, this whole pack is, like, well, this whole series is about... Can I just point out how, just, like, off track for a second? But how good do the leaves look on this street? What? How have I not noticed this? This looks so artistic like can i just like get this down like oh wow that looks gorgeous okay sorry i'm just artsy at the moment um <laughs> where's our papa that's not our papa where is he that's not him either where's our dad he's gone he's left us gosh dang it <laughs> cap herself what's this saying Hugo has work in an hour. We might as well just stay here for an hour. Like, what else is there, right? <laughs> we'll just brush our teeth and psych ourselves up since we need to be confident for this job. But, um, <clears throat> you know, I don't know. Maybe, so this pack, the series, is all about the expansion packs. So with, um, obviously we're exploring Get Famous at the moment, but what packs do you want to see? For The Sims 4 in 2019, what are you looking forward to? What do you want to see? What do you think the game's missing? So 
I personally am quite happy with the content that EA gives us. So I would probably be happy with any pack. Um, as long as it's a decent quality pack, which I think EA produces. You know, I'm quite happy with the packs they produce. <clears throat> but what do you guys think? What do you guys want? Um, my main hit list for, like, stuff I'd like... Like, I see, I've been seeing a lot of, like, things I want to see at The Sims 4 2019 or, like, I'll quit if I don't get this. Like, I've just seen a lot of thumbnails. I haven't actually watched any of them because I'm like, eh, whatever, right? <laughs> you know, like, I don't really care what you want because <laughs> they always want, like, like, I mean, come on, you guys want, well, you guys voted for laundry. Like, I'm, I'm done with the community, but, um... <laughs> Uh, I actually liked the stuff in the laundry pack, just not the laundry. I hate laundry in general. <clears throat> but, no. So, like, I want body hair. <clears throat> that is my thing that I want. I want body hair. Like, you don't understand. I want body hair. <laughs> it's just the thing that I want. I would really love to have some body hair in The Sims. Like, and not just for men. Like, we... You know, I don't want to just see chest hair like we had in the other packs and leg hair. I want to see it for girls because, do you know, I'm going to be real with you. I haven't shaved my legs in over a month. And when you're seeing this, I probably still haven't shaved them. And you know what? In a month's time, I probably still haven't then. I rarely shave my legs. It's just not a thing I care about. I wear short dresses too. And you know what? No one gives a gosh diggity dang it at all because who cares? Like, you know, female razors and stuff, like... Fun fact, if you didn't know this, uh, women didn't used to shave at all, pretty much. But I think it was in the 50s or the 60s, I think it was Gillette, was like, man, how do we increase our audience? Like, well, we can only sell to men. And they're like, oh, maybe we should sell to women. So they started body shaming women about their body hair <clears throat> in advertisements to convince them to buy razors and that body hair was bad. And that's why today... We, one, shave, but two, like, this sort of stuff. So, like, you know, do you see what I'm saying? Like, they literally scammed us <laughs> into buying all these products so they could make money. Like, they shamed people. So, I think that's, one, disgusting. But, like, two, no one really cares. Like, it's 2019. Who cares if you've got hairy legs? Like, if that's, like, the biggest concern you've got in 2019 that someone in your life has hairy legs, you're doing... Ah, <sighs> you're doing things wrong. Like, there's so many more things you can care about. Like, I don't know, the world, nature, I don't know, all sorts of stuff. Also, <clears throat> why Hugo is vain now. How is he vain? I, that, that If Hero got that, I would be like, yeah, okay, I, I see that. That's definitely Hero. But I don't feel like that suits Hugo. That's not a very Hugo perk, you know? I feel like that doesn't suit my boy, you know? Can we talk to this friend? Ask about day. And let's, uh, what do we want to do? We need to get to know someone as well. <clears throat> um, where is it? Uh, I don't see it. There we go, get to know. Beautiful. Hero's gonna go herself to class, to water drama club because she's home from school. Oh, he's mean. That's not very nice. Well, don't be mean. Oh, I thought that was Chadwick. It had the same hair and, like, skin color. I'm like, is that Chadwick? Or at least a similar one. I'm like, oh, no, Chadwick's here? What is this? But no, it's not Chadwick, so whatever, right? <laughs> Oh dear, I'm going to also do headline effects off because we don't want to see this plumber while we're dancing away on stage. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, apart from my rant, I'd like to see body hair on Sims. All Sims, I think that'd be really fun and m more realistic and stuff. And obviously I can get like a mod for that. But like, you know, come on. I don't, I shouldn't need to mod that into my game. <laughs> I enjoy playing vanilla. I have a lot less issues. Like, I love playing with my mods, but I don't know. 
I've had legacy saves before and they've corrupted you to CC, but my peanut legacy save is fine, totally vanilla. That's all I'm putting out there. I'm just saying. Just putting that out there. Just putting it out there. Like, come at me. <laughs> no, I just, I don't know. <clears throat> I just, I, I find it, I mean, it doesn't load any quicker really for me, but I've got a good computer. But yeah, I just, I, w I don't need it. You know, I don't need to do CC. I feel like EA should do that for me anyways. I don't know. I'm just, hashtag entitled. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that happens with the Sims community. A lot of people are like the gurus need to give this to us, and they need to give it to us now. It's like, ah, uh, no, they don't. It's a game, and they don't have to keep on providing DLC for it at all. So, just hush your mouth and be glad they are. <laughs> like, name a game that provides constant DLC and online support. I'm just saying, that's not the Sims. Like, you know, I don't know. I feel like it happens. Like, but. You know, it not very often. Like, I don't know, I feel like we're quite lucky we can keep on producing content and stuff. Like, if this was maybe, like, I don't know, <clears throat> another game it wouldn't have. I don't know. A thoughts. But anyways, what do you guys want to see? Apart from my leg hair, stuff I'd like to see eventually, just because that's stuff that I'd like to see in my game. I'd like to see game packs similar to the Vampires one. On, like, witches, werewolves, like, more supers. I like supernatural sims. I think they're kind of fun. I don't play with them all the time, but I really enjoy playing with them when I do. And so it's kind of like, you know, I don't know. That's kind of fun. But, yeah. So I'd like to see more supernatural sims. I think that would be fun. That's my only thing. That if EA, <clears throat> like, I can live without universities. I can do mock unis. Like, I do mock stuff all the time for, like, my Tumblr and all that sort of jazz. Like, I, it's very easy to use the club system and use your imagination and stuff. But, <clears throat> you know, I'd really love to see a, uh, like, a witch and, like, fairy and stuff. Like, just more supernatural stuff. And I'd like to see them done well like they did with vampires. <laughs> That's, like, my one thing, like... Before the Sims franchise finishes, I would like to see that. And I'd like to see them done properly too. <laughs> and I know the herbalism is kind of witchy, but not super witchy. I don't know. Um. Oh, God. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm getting rid of this quack. This is not a Hugo quack. Like, if Hero got this quack, I'd be like, you know what? You're right. She is vain. She a vain child. But no, not my boy. He's not vain at all. I feel like he's he's very down to earth in his mega mansion he has here. Ooh, he's a rising star. Ooh, fancy. So let's have a quick look see Lou here. Uh, what am I looking at? I want to bring up his skills, good, because I want to go here and I want to check for new gigs. I like to have their skills open so because, like, <clears throat> when you check for new gigs because that way you can kind of see like you know okay they want fitness level five well, we've got level four we could probably get that you know that's kind of how I see it um <clears throat> well I think we should go for this fitness level five one I think that's kind of fun and I might have him cook a grand meal if I'm being honest you can make some tofurkey because Leaf only eats vegetarian stuff. Because <laughs> she a vegetarian. And what time's Hero back? What time does Drama Club finish? Now. She's back. That's exciting. But yeah, no, that's that's cool. Um, we might take this Tofurky over to Hugo's. <laughs> Newton and Nadia's house and eat with them. I think we did that for Christmas, but I feel like that'd be fun. I don't know if... Ooh. Hero's going through a mean phase. Hey, here at Everyday Extras, we rarely find someone so talented. You're our secret weapon, Mr. Walnut. <laughs> hey there, Mr. Walnut. I feel like that should be a song. The studio, <laughs> the people, everyone loves what you did in that series. Uh, can't believe it, you're the real deal. Don't leave us, please. We're almost, 
We've almost saved up for a second office pen. Oh! Babes. Pens are cheap. <laughs> oh, I love that. Mr. Walnut, though. I like that. Mr. Walnut. I am Mr. Walnut. Mr. Walnut. Do 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 do. So maybe since, um, so maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll try to propose to Leaf tonight? Maybe. I don't know. See, like, it would make sense because we spoke to our, like, our dad in game. Um, I just, <laughs> I like to say in game because what if my dad hears me and he's like, dad, does she need me? Is she in trouble? And he, like, bursts into my room being like, what's going on? I'm like, no, it's, it's my sim dad. <laughs> I always get worried about that. But like, you know, um, <laughs> I know it's kind of dumb, but you know, that's fine. But like, maybe he spoke to him and he's like, yeah, like if you're thinking about babies, maybe you should like see if she wants to marry, you, you know, and like maybe because like, you know, we technically kidnapped uh, <laughs> Hugo's mum, uh, for a couple of days. She was just a barmaid and we just kind of forced her into our family and just got her pregnant and then we kind of kicked her out. But we had a very believable backstory. <laughs> Not really. I was like, yeah, um, like the thing. And, you know, uh, she, her parents said she had to have a baby. And they were trying to get her to have an arranged marriage. And so she's like, I'm already married. Thanks, mom and dad. See, look. And so that was the, like, secret fake backstory that, like, you know, that's what happened. And they got pregnant. And it was, like, a fun time. But, you know. <laughs> Obviously, now we've got Nadia. And we love Nadia. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Sam made Nadia. If you didn't know. Knock on door. Knockity knockity. I got turkey. I got turkey for you, Dad. Heck yeah. What's going on? Oh, okay. We hadn't actually knocked on the door. I'm like, where's all the stuff? No. Okay. That's good, though. Let's come here and, um, quarter a grand meal. Let's go all eat dinner. Heck yeah. Dinner. What are you guys doing for dinner tonight? I am. We're planning to go out and buy chips, like fries, you know, hot chips, fish and chips, that sort of stuff. Um, we're going to go down to the beach and we're gonna, I'm just, we're just going to get chips because like it's cheaper and I don't do seafood. Ugh, can't do it. Yucky. Um, and so, <laughs> you know, uh, like we're, we're, we're going to do that and, you know, it'll be fun. And so we're going to do that. And we're also going to go to a dog beach and take our dog for a walk on the beach after I'm done recording pretty much. So, you know, that's kind of fun. Did you just get up to hug Nadia? If so, that is the cutest thing. Oh, I love them. And here is like, God, I hate this. Oh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, that's so cute. And he's like sitting next to Nadia. I love that. I feel like he definitely thinks Nadia is like as his like as his mum because like she's not his biological mother, but I feel like he definitely feels as her. He, she's like the real kind of mother fi figure in his life. Like his mum wasn't around much. Like she moved out when he was a toddler and like, you know, she w hung out with him once or twice when he was a kid and like, you know, he obviously wanted to see her a couple Christmases and stuff, but like, you know, they like weren't super close or anything like that. So I feel like this is nice though. Hero is having a great time. What are you doing? Why are you being rude to poor Leaf? Can you not be such a horrible little creature, darling? I feel like now she's eight. She's going to go home. She's like, I'm done. Goodbye. She's like, I'm out of here, okay? I've had dinner. I'm going home. This is gross. Like, she's like, I'm done. I'm going home. This is ridiculous. I've got stuff to do. Goodbye. She's probably like, yeah, I got homework to do, guys. I'm going now. Look at her. She's out of here. She's like, I'm gone. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> snap, snap. Like, she's gone. 
<laughs> I love it. What are you doing, darling? Okay, could you maybe? Let me see. Maybe, can we go down here? Go here. And go here. Yeah. That's good. I wanted them to be a bit romantic and stuff. Because I might propose to her tonight. I might. I might try. We'll see how it goes. Like, I feel like it might not work. Because I've got this dumb bug. Where, like, Sims always reject my Sims when, like, they propose. It's literally the worst thing in the world. And I hate it so much. But that's okay. We'll try. <laughs> like, I've had Sims that are max, like, both bars. Both very flirty. And they're like, mm, yeah, no. No, I'm not going to marry you. It's like, what? What do you mean you're not going to marry me? This is not how it works. We are meant to be married and engaged to the day. This is The Sims. You know? <laughs> oh, look at that. This is so cute. Kiss. Oh, I love them. I think, though, after uh, my boys, like next kind of what is it big sort of like gig like the gig he's got now I feel like maybe they should go camping together what are you doing no get back he's gone to look at the fucking mirror get out of the mirror no my boy Lucas. I'm sorry I'm turning autonomy off here because they're irritating me you will not look in the mirror you are not a mirror boy just come here and be beautiful, okay? I'm going to get rid of that quirk. Can we propose? Can you not sit down, please? Let's see how this goes. I like how the cat's in the background. <laughs> and I like that there's drawings that he's probably drawn on the wall. <gasps> is she saying yes? <gasps> she is! <gasps> oh, my baby! That's so exciting! <gasps> oh, my babies! Okay, we need to... I was going to say we need to go home and woohoo, but I'm not going to make you guys watch a loading screen for that, so, you know, that's fine. We're just going to ignore that. Also, look at my cute pictures. Oh, they're adorable. I love my babs. They're so cute. Um, <laughs> but anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. 